our first time seeing it in person. This is the 2023 Rosso Presente or Vice Red Maserati MC20 with a very McDonald's spec that I have to show off for you guys here today. What's good guys welcome back to ron's rise welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where i'm here at maserati of daytona beach with something we have not yet had on the channel we got the very first maserati mc20 which was david beckham's we've gotten maybe eight or nine other mc20s on the channel like a custom matte black one and every other color you can think of but we have not yet got rosso vicente all right this is vice red on the channel before and it's out here in this florida sun showing off i had to get it here for you guys here at maserati daytona beach this is currently on sale it's in the showroom but they pulled it out for me so i can show this thing off so with that said here we are today with a beautifully specced rosso vicente maserati mc20 now make sure you guys hit up my boy Wayne at Maserati of Daytona Beach. He's gonna get you into this beautiful MC20. Like I said, it's currently on sale here at the dealership. So if you guys wanna check him out, check out his information in the description below so you guys can get into this MC20 yourself. Wow, it took this long for us to get this color on the channel, but it is finally here, guys. At Maserati of Daytona Beach, we finally have a Rosso Vicente Maserati MC20. This is not a new color for 2023, even though this is a 2023. This is just a color that has eluded us all this time. We've seen every other color besides this color. We've even had, again, a matte black Maserati MC20 on the channel when I went for a ride in that. But we have not yet had the Rosso MC20 on the channel until today. And by God, with this spec, with the black wheels, with the yellow calipers, this looks silly it is crazy i mean wow i am blown away i'm always blown away by these cars but when you add a triple layer paint like red in the mix all right i know alfa romeo does red very well uh Ferrari, i mean obviously they are the kings of red but this this is a great competitor when it comes to red italian cars this is going to be in my list of red italian cars that if you decide to get one you have to get it in this mc20 rosso vicente now 2023 i think this is our fourth 2023 on the channel so you know a lot of things that are going on there's not a good way for us to tell that this is a 2023 just from looking at the exterior at this moment because the big things that has changed is you get one or sorry two particular colors aqua marina you can get for 2023 which is new and also you can get what is it grigio incognito i believe that's the new standard color for 2023 and that's a gray color and then the wheels. You can get carbon fiber wheels now, and you can get MMXX wheels that are on this yellow on the launch spec. Um, but that's it. That's the differences on the exterior between 2023s and 2022s that you're gonna be able to see right away. Now there's some stuff under the engine bay and in the interior that you'll be able to notice right away just by getting in and looking at those that this is a 2023 model. But other than that, we know about the MC20. We'll go into those details in just a moment. I just have to walk around this spec look at this paint guys triple layer all right three layer paint my camera is not going to show it off how it should so you got to come see it in person but it looks phenomenal now again the wheels bird cage wheels all black yellow calipers or giallo calipers black script drilled rotors we got brummel brakes of course uh bridgestone potenza tires i mean <laughs> this it's beautiful. Now, one thing you'll notice that we don't have on this model is the $35,000 body kit. All right, so the carbon fiber body kit, which would include the whole front end here, like the front, I mean, I don't say the front lip, but the front fascia, all that that you see that's in plastic black would be in carbon fiber. The complete side skirt or side panel, I mean, it's, it's about three fourths of it, or sorry, one fourth of it would be in carbon fiber. And this complete, plastic piece on the back of the bumper would be in carbon fiber so you can see why it costs so much because it's <laughs> it's, it's like a, a seventh of the car it's crazy all right so we don't have that but other than that i think we got everything we need like a carbon fiber roof which i believe is a six thousand dollar option for this beautiful carbon weave on this roof we'll break down the sticker in just a moment but yeah that looks wonderful i would love the kit to match with it but i get why you don't do the kit unless you got an extra thirty five thousand dollars to spare but, I mean, wow. 
Look at this thing, guys. It is insane. Now, one thing you'll notice that makes this a 2023, but you might not notice right away because this used to be an option, but now it is standard for 2023, is the carbon fiber engine cover out of this Natuno engine. Yes, three liter twin turbo Natuno that is straight from Maserati, all right? We know that this makes 621 horsepower, 538 pound-feet of torque with a zero to 60 in about 2.9, 2.8 seconds and a top speed of 202 miles per hour. This carbon fiber engine cover is standard across the board on 2023. It means you automatically get it, all right? You can see your oil cap there and you have your fluids there as well. And then the rest, well, it's a little bit of storage. I believe 1.8 cubic feet of storage in the rear. We do have a front as well, but this is plenty of space. As you guys can see, these are your floor mats here. Front plate kit. Luckily here in Florida, we don't need one of those. And then other than that, I mean, again, there's not much room back here that you can really have. But again, 1.8 cubic feet, I believe. Not much, but it's enough. I'll say it's enough for a car like this that you're taking, you know, out and about, maybe on a smaller road trip, but nothing crazy when you're driving something like this beast. But again, this is the two note engine, F1 technology in this. I mean, this is something serious. We're gonna hear this thing fire up. We have to, right? We just have to, it's a Maserati. You have to hear the ICE engines, or sorry, you have to hear the internal combustion engines. Let's fire it up, the Corsa mode, of course. Now, I know I said about 1.8 cubic feet of space in the trunk. Well, in the front, it's obviously a little bit lighter. And we're looking at, if I can get that open, about 1.3 or maybe it's a little bit less than that. It seems like it's a little bit less than that. I always forget. I have to just show you to get the visual so you guys can actually see it. But yeah, not a ton of space. But again, it's not expected. You know, there's not a lot of storage in the inside. So a lot of your more important documents you can put in a binder and folder and everything like that. Hold it here, like your manual and your tools and everything that Miles Wright has already placed here. You can put a couple of things inside of there and call it a day. A couple of bags, maybe a backpack and you know, a duffel and a jacket, maybe in the rear. But again, it's not necessarily about the stowage, but it is nice that you do have a front and a trunk. A little bit more practicality because this could be treated as a daily if you wanted to, you know, take it around town every now and then. It's not necessarily a supercar where the conditions have to be perfect and the situation has to be perfect in order for you to enjoy it, which that's what I like about this. Now, when it comes to your fuel economy, I think we're looking at 18, 15, 25, obviously premium fuel for this thing. Not bad. I mean, 18 combined seating highway, 15 city, 25 highway. 25 highway is actually pretty impressive. I know it's a twin turbo V6. So it should get something like that but for supercar performance 631 horsepower 25 is really not bad when it comes to city cruising so i do like that now if you guys haven't already make sure you subscribe to the channel because when you subscribe it helps grow the channel and i get more opportunities to get more beautiful cars like this rosso mc20 behind me here today now of course i have to do my favorite part about this car well yeah it's the butterfly doors i mean Come on, how could you not love that? You can see the, all the forged carbon fiber that's just gleaming here, again in the Florida sun. And then look at how beautiful that looks. Just wide open. Now, if you're wondering what that is, that is just protection for when you get inside of the car. Since this is a dealership car, they don't want to scratch up anything once we get inside. So it's good for, you know, accidentally kicking the side sill there and covering that up. Um, there is a Maserati side sill there, just to let you know. This is a carbon fiber tub. All right, and then again, you have the forged carbon fiber throughout as well. All right, now, you see this spec. Look at this. Yes, Nero and Giallo. That's why I said very McDonald-esque spec, but it looks really good with this yellow stitching all throughout Chevron pattern leather seats. All right, Alcantara, dry carbon fiber in the steering wheel with the aluminum paddle shifters. All right, good way you'll know that this is a 2023 is because all 2023 models come with a blue start-stop button now. All right, so 
If you see that button in the inside, you automatically know it's a 2023 model. There's another big way I'll show you in just a moment. And add this to the list. The buttons right over here for the lighting and the mirrors are rounded off, all right? So that's a new thing for 2023. All of them get rounded off instead of square rectangle buttons. All this is rounded off. Looks a lot better. Aluminum pedals down there, as you guys can see. You also have right there your park, electric park. You also have your trunk release. And then all the way under there is your trunk release. All right, so you have everything there that you need. Then if we come over here, to the central well you know what let's get in the car first we gotta get inside of the car so you can see that a lot better before we do sonos faber sonos faber however you want to say it for the sound system premium audio alcantara inserts in the door all right nero leather going around and then also your giallo stitching and then you can see your door release this is how you open up the door all right here we are let's step inside no good gracious way to do this but it's a lot easier than a 4c i'll say it that way all right we're inside looks beautiful but we should probably start it up so put on a brake and it comes to life now look at this fully digital drive mode selector 2023 this year is when this started Standard in all Maserati MC20s, you now get a digital drive mode selector. So that's another big way to tell it's a 2023 model from the inside. Again, the inside changes are a lot more obvious than the outside and the engine bay and everything like that. Let's close this down by grabbing the strap here. Pull her in. Now we are in a beautiful cockpit. Now I want to keep in mind that, you know, um, inside of here, it's very simplistic, but we've known that for the MC20s, you know, they just get right to the point when it comes to driving dynamics and, you know, it's very driver focused, okay? Not a lot of distractions inside of here. Now, one thing to note is that you have the MC20 plates here. Um, actually, let me do this media and uh, <laughs> let me make sure that the radio is turned on because we don't want any copyrighted music, right? So we're down on the radio, all right? Now, MC20 plate, Alcantara all on the bottom shelf here, all the way across, leather all up top with yellow stitching. You can see the plate up there as well, yellow stitching. And again, the Alcantara carrying over, it's just beautiful materials inside. You can also see that we do have our video camera mirror or we can do it the old fashioned way, which you guys can barely see anything in there, but there it is. <laughs> That's why it's good to do it that way because you can see it through the camera a lot better for your visibility because that's all you got you got the trident glass back there and then that's about it all right inside you also see the dry carbon fiber central tunnel again with the drive mode selector all right drive mode selector will have you in gt to start to turn to the left you're in wet we go back to the right back in gt go to the right again we're in sport and then we hold to the right we're in Corsa mode, your most extreme mode for the MC20 and for most high performance Maseratis. Now I'm gonna go back because I want you to see the different speedo menus for each one of these. That's wet mode, that's GT, that's sport, and that's Corsa. All right, so that's our big boy. Now. There's still another screen on this. If I swipe to the right, you will see my dampers. I can go from hard to mid because it's Corsa mode. Now, if I go to sport mode, then I can go from soft to mid. All right, so Corsa mode will give you hard to mid. Sport mode will give you soft to mid. Drive, manual, reverse, window switches, door locks, radio controls. All right, so that's how I was able to easily turn down the radio. Alcantara on the armrest, very thin, <laughs> thin armrest. And then you can see inside you have USB 2.0 and then USB-C. Can't see it that well. Let's see if we can get it to focus a little bit. But yeah, that's it. And that's a very small space there. Cup holder, all the way back there. And then your back shelf for any other little small extra storage stuff, but not much there. Other than that, it's very MC20 that we've seen the past couple of years here. Again, blue start stop button, 
launch control right here. All right, that's that's pretty fun, right? <laughs> Cruise control, your suspension lift to go up and down, all right, to raise and lower your suspension. Um, let me just show you what that looks like. Then you have your hands-free controls and radio volume and everything controls there as well. So you can turn up and down the radio that way. Well, you can see it going up and turn it all the way up. Um, and then again, your aluminum paddle shifters like we're used to. And then you can see your steering wheel stocks, all right, with the gloss and aluminum on both sides. Very Gokale and Gran Turismo-esque like you've seen on those new models. And yeah, I mean, the infotainment, you can have five, with that touch screen there, we know all about Uconnect 5. Maserati's Android uh, driven Maserati Intelligent Assistant is what they call it, or Mia. All right, so we know all about this system. It's in all of Maserati's models, has been in the past couple of years. And you also have a wireless phone charger there. And then you have your glove box here. And there you are. Pretty simple, right? What you expected from the Maserati MC20. Then, per usual, we gotta check it out. With the lights illuminated and the turn signals flashing. All right, so we'll come to this side so you guys can see those full LEDs right there doing that thing. On the side, it's not on the mirror, but on the fender here, you can see the flash. And then when it comes to the rear, boomerang tails, and I do have the fog lamp illuminated, the fog lamp is that right there so you'll see that illuminated as well when the fog lamp is pushed in and then you have your indicators and then your regular running light for your rears step back and see that and yeah looks amazing right now let's talk about this sticker of this rosso presente near near giallo at a base price of two hundred and thirty thousand dollars, it's up fifteen thousand dollars in twenty twenty three. It used to be two hundred and fifteen thousand for its base. After options, you know we have a couple. We're looking at two hundred and fifty nine thousand eight hundred and ninety five dollars. That's after the thirty six ninety five destination and three hundred preparation and delivery. So what are we looking at at options to make it this price? Well, we also have our E L S D. All right, our electronic limited slip diff. 2300 our high performance sound system sonos favor 4000 stitch trident 900 dollars our upgraded leather and alcantara interior 1000 dollars our three layer paint 10000 dollars heated front seats 500 dollars carbon fiber roof 6000 dollars and gloss yellow brake calipers 1200 dollars there we are guys pretty simple on the spec but it, all the right boxes were ticked to make this beautiful spec now going over to what's standard on the 2023 model, this is everything you guys get for $230,000 and then everything I just named off gets you $259,895. So make sure you guys check that out, see everything you got. Pause it, zoom in, do whatever you need to do to make sure you see that. And then you can see that the warranty there is four years, 50,000 miles, it's transferable, and it's a new car limited warranty with 24 seven roadside assistance. So you have some peace of mind there. So what do you guys think? All right guys, so what did you think about the Rosso Vicente Maserati MC20 Vice Red in the yellow spec with the calipers and the accents with stitching inside of the cabin? This is a cool looking spec. Again, a McDonald's spec, but a really like eye-catching popping spec that I would rock in a heartbeat, especially with this carbon fiber roof. Only thing that would top it off for me would be the carbon fiber body kit. Again, I would definitely get that. But other than that, guys, this, pack, this spec is perfect. But with that said, if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. 
giving the video a like will help get it up in rankings. More people can see it. And we'll have a bigger discussion on this Rosso Vicente Maserati MC20. Now, with that said, if you guys want to help further support the channel, always check the links down in the description below. We have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, my Cash App, my Venmo, and my Patreon, just in case you guys want to donate an extra dollar or two to the channel. Appreciate that extra love, guys. Thank you so much. Helps go a long way with the channel. Now, make sure you guys check out the Ron's Rise merch in the description below and my social media links as well. And subscribe to the channel, but click the notification bell so you don't miss one video. Now, with that said, you guys be blessed. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise video. Peace.